Hey, hello, so I'm going to show you um, another Pixelmatic tutorial today and I'm going to show you um, how to use the sponge tool and what it does. It's a really simple tool but really effective. So have you ever seen the pictures that sort of, um, I don't know, like say this motorbike that you see here, it's a guy called Eric Bostrom and all the greens are really green and everything else is black and white. That's the sort of thing that I'm going to do and it's, it's you do it with the sponge tool and it's called... Um, Saturate, desaturate as well, you know, saturate and desaturate. So if you're going to saturate something, anything in, a, in, in an image, it enhances the colour and desaturation is just taking the colour away. So if you keep taking the colour away, eventually it becomes black and white and totally desaturated. And if you keep saturating it, eventually it becomes really, really bright and so you can't see it anymore. So that's what we're going to do. So it works at the top here in, in conjunction, the sponge tool, in conjunction with these... Um, sort of three, four modes at the top and the first one is brushes and if I click the brushes you can also press command 4 I think on your keyboard, yeah command 4 and it will show or remove the brush tool and you will get the brush settings so I'm just going to go to the little um, settings wheel down here and make sure that I'm on my default brushes so you can just use the circle brushes here and this is the, um, shows you what sort of brush that you've got up in the top left hand corner here and I just want a circle one, just a smooth one there then we've got this mode um, saturate, so anything you coloured over with this brush, it would saturate it, make it brighter, and desaturate, um, likewise, would make it black and white, or take away the colour. And the flow is just the amount that it does it by each click. Right, so we're going to go for 100% saturate, and I'm just going to go for this circle brush here, and I'm going to highlight, remember with my settings open, I can increase or decrease the diameter of the brush, just by this simple um, drag. Um, slider here. So I'm going to saturate all of the greens just by going over it. Now what you might want to do is just press command plus on your keyboard and zoom in so you can see all of the greens quite clearly. So I'm going to get all of the greens and I'm going to really highlight them. Now another tool, another it's just colouring in, that's all it is. Another tip with saturation and using the sponge tool. If I let's say take for instance this area here. If I just left click and held it, you would see that it saturates quite nicely, but if I keep clicking, it increases the saturation more and more and more and more with every single click. So if you just hold it, it will just saturate it. And if you keep clicking, it will in intensify, it will enhance the saturation. So I'm gonna do all the greens, and I'm just gonna color them in, all the greens, and I'll tell you what, while I'm colouring all, all the greens, because it really is that easy, you know, it's just a just a case of colouring in all the parts that you want to colour in. I'm just going to pause this and um, and I'll get back to you once I've coloured all the greens in, okay? So, okay, we're back and I'm sure you'll agree that all the greens are green. Um, I could possibly do a bit more down here. It really only took me sort of a couple of minutes just to go over this. Um, and now I'm going to um, click desaturate at the top here. Keep my flow on 100%. Just increase my brush a little bit because I'm going to do the outside first. So I'm going to um, make all this stuff around the outside all black and white. Okay, and you can see it happening quite nicely there. It's quite good that this image is already um, blurred, and the way you would do that basically is to. Um, to cut around your rider or around the, the main part of the image and cut it out and then just blur it. So you'd paste it back as two layers and then just blur it. It's quite simple to do. I could do a tutorial on that, I suppose. And um, so, yes, let me. Um, I'm going to make all of the rider apart from all the green black and white. And I'm not going to, I'm not doing it perfectly. Um, just a demonstration just to show you so yeah I'm gonna I'm gonna carry on with this right and if I press command plus and zoom in to go around the outside of his you know like these sort of areas here I'll just make my brush smaller so I'm gonna carry on doing that right and I am gonna um, I'm gonna pause it again and I'll come back when everything else is black and white okay okay so back again and everything else is black and white and the greens are green if I was being really picky, see these areas here, I could zoom right in, Command Plus. Um, I could zoom right in here and I could um, decrease the diameter of my brush a little bit more. And I could really go to town, sort of taking this, taking the saturation away from this, this blue here. But I think it's quite nice, so I'm just going to, um, I'm just going to leave that. 
Right, so I'm going to zoom out and I'm going to show you another cool effect that you can apply to pictures like this, right? So I'm going to go to my effects browser over here, select my selection tool first, go to my effects browser. And the first thing I'm going to do is um, I'm going to find something called um, curves. Now, curves is messing about with the colour and you get this, if you drag and drop it onto your canvas, you get this this sort of chart pop up and I'm not going to explain too much about curves, the, red, the RGB um, spectrum and the way curves work, I'll do that in another video, it's a video all in itself, but I'm just going to go up to the top here and just drag it up a little bit and you see it brightens it, I don't want to do that, I want to darken the darks and lighten the lights a little bit, so, but not too much, just a little curve on that and I'm going to make it sort of an S, an inverted S, so make the darks a little bit darker, okay, so I'm, and I'm happy with that, just, just, just minimal, right, just bear with me, bear with me, and now I'm going to go to something called vintage and these are just I'm just drag and drop it onto my canvas and these are just preset um sort of color schemes right so if we, this normal then we've got iris and we've got carnation which looks quite effective i'm sure you'll agree and we've got freesia what happened there okay yeah, so then we've got freesia which again looks quite effective we've got um bovardia syringia Wormwood, but this is the one I want. This is I want this wormwood here, right? And then I'm gonna mess about with the saturation, and this would brighten it up. But I don't want to do that too much. I just want to take away some of the the sharpness, and then add some vignette so it just sort of darkens the uh, darkens the edges. And click OK. And the final thing that I'm gonna do to this, drag and drop some noise onto it, just to take away the realism. Deselect monochrome. And just drag it down to around three and a half percent maybe a little less 0.9 looks quite effective and click OK and there you have it um, the use of the sponge tool and some um, some final effects so let's, uh, um, let's sort of render that image out so you can see at the end of the video. If you have any questions, I'm going to render it out to PNG. If you have any questions, feel free to, um, to ask them in the bottom. Thanks a lot for watching. Catch you all later. Bye.